This is Today Tonight. Tonight, what you haven't been told about the rescue operation. Only a few hours ago, Chappelle Corby had her youth taken from her and how our lives have changed since the day terrorism struck the free world. Are you confident about the security measures you have in place? I'm telling you the truth. Let's face it, life is there to be lived and to be enjoyed and my philosophy in life basically is, look, make the most of every moment. Hi, Naomi. Uh, wish you well. I've known you for about 20 years and I guess I'm uniquely placed to wish you well. I, I work with you behind the camera and uh, on camera and, and I think even last year you did a story on me which was a, a, a truly flattering story and you've always been elegant and poised in what you've done and, uh, and always beautiful. You've been in this job now for 10 years in the number one time slot and you've done it with great distinction, determination and focus. It's very sad that you're going but at least you're going at the top of your profession and we wish you every success. Straight away. You are one of the very few people who was invited into the inner sanctum. There was a point you said you could understand people who do commit suicide and you even contemplated ending it yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you know what you wanted when you went in there? Not really, I'd spoken to the people before and uh, ordered a few different kinds in and I couldn't tell the difference between any of them, so. <laughs> My dog doesn't know that I'm famous, and so <laughs> when I take my dog for a walk, it doesn't care. Is all that underwear throwing a little embarrassing these days? No pun intended, but underwear gets in the way. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! <laughs> How did you know? A little Aussie told me. <laughs> hey, Naomi, this is Koshi and Mel from Sunrise. We wish you all the very best with all your new challenges. And congratulations, 10 years on the top-rating current affairs program. Go, girl. And pop in and have breakfast with us every once in a while. Yeah. Ten years, a great achievement. Five years in Melbourne, then five years nationally. I mean, I didn't make it that long. I think I made it six years. It took me two networks. Um, and you know, as well as I do, it's not television I've written before. It's not a not a dog-eat-dog -dog business. It's a rat-eat-rat -rat business. But uh, you've done it. You've survived it. Head up and out you go. Good luck. The winner of the most popular public affairs program today, tonight. A very special night tonight. It's very sad for me personally to see you leaving the show, Naomi. You've been there and you've helped with the rest of that team create today, tonight into Australia's top current affairs program. And for that, I and everybody at the network really appreciate and thank you for what you've achieved. You, together with the team at the day and night, have heralded a new era in Seven Network. And for that, you will have my and the rest of the network's undying thanks. What an honour and a privilege it is to accept this award. And I accept this award on behalf of a huge team of people. It is a great honour to be allowed into your living rooms every night Thank you for having us. No wonder they wouldn't let me see that before now. Well, I'm not going to babble on. I'll make this brief and simple. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who's been involved with Today Tonight. Everyone I've worked with over the past 10 years. Without you, I wouldn't be here and I'll miss you so much. To Kerry Stokes and the Seven Network Management, thank you so much for your support and your generosity. And especially to all of you at home, I can't thank you enough for tuning in. As I said in that little package, it's been an absolute privilege and an honour to be allowed into your lounge rooms every night. It's meant so much to me. I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say I'll see you when I see you. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Please take care and good night.